hello, how are you? <laughs> it is baking hot. I'm drowning in my own sweat, but I thought I would come online and have a quick chat all about Elizabeth and James fragrances. I really like this fragrance brand. I think they're lovely. I think they're very underrated. And um, yeah, that's why today I thought I would share three of my favorites from the brand with you. The brand is of course um, made and created and founded by Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen, but I would like to point out before we get started, it's not a celebi brand. Like if you didn't know it was Mary-Kate and Ashley, you wouldn't know there was any celebrity link to it. They have really tried to just kind of create a brand with Elizabeth and James as they did with The Row as well. So I think it's a great brand. Please don't let the celebness put you off because I think they've actually done an amazing job and I'm not a celebrity perfume kind of girl. No shade. I'm just, I don't know. It's just not for me and I, I don't, I'm just not a fan of celebrity fragrances generally, to be honest, but I think Mary Kay and Ashley have just created a really beautiful and lovely luxury, nostalgic, fabulous, glamorous brand, and I'm, I'm a big fan. So yeah, I thought I would have a chat, discuss, and um, show you some of my favorites. So I think the first one I wanna go for, whoop, is um, a Vanilla Bourbon. Now this one, <laughs> I'm getting it out very noisily. Um, so this is the bottle. It's a beautiful kind of brown, slightly clear glass. It's uh, styled like it's an old cigarette case. Very beautiful. It's very like kind of quite Bond girl. I don't know if that's just me, but I think it's beautiful. I'm gonna spritz some. And it's beautiful. It's made up of notes of Bourbon vanilla, tuberose and oak wood. But I would say there's also a hint of something a little bit fresh at the beginning, maybe a little bergamot just to kind of like give a little hit of freshness. But mainly it's kind of a woodsy, vanilla-y, boozy kind of fragrance. It's, um, it's quite powdery, it's quite bookish, it's quite nostalgic and it's kind of like softly boozy. It's more of a nighttime fragrance. I would say it's also a little bit more of a wintry fragrance. And it's just, I don't know, it's just kind of glamorous and classic and elegant and chic. And it's very, it's very like Olsen Twins aesthetic in a perfume. It's, it's really lovely. If you like a kind of vanilla-y, bourbon-y, boozy, woodsy, smoky, leathery kind of fragrance, this is definitely for you. If you like a Tom Ford fragrance, but you find them a little bit too heavy and a bit too intense, then I would also say try this because it is like, it's got that kind of Tom Ford vibe but it's way less strong, like way less strong, but in a good way, because sometimes Tom Ford fragrances are too strong and they too are too intense and they can just feel a little overpowering. This feels much more translucent and soft and kind of like easier to wear. Still very luxury, still very decadent, still very like warm and lovely and rich and smoky and leathery and wonderful, but just a little less in your face than you would get from a Tom Ford fragrance. So yeah, it's good, it's great. I really like it. This is Vanilla Bourbon, and it is just kind of like this vanilla-y, boozy, woodsy loveliness. And it's, it's really, really good, it's really good. And I'm not normally a vanilla fragrance kind of girl, but it's not too much of an intense vanilla, and it's got this just really lovely whiskey, woodsy, smoky, leathery vibe going on and I really, really, really like it. It's lovely. So the next one I want to share with you is Elizabeth and James Nirvana Rose. Now this one contains notes of geranium, rose de may and vetiver. Now, I love all those chords. I love a bit of geranium. Geranium is so underrated. It's such a lovely, pretty vintage floral. Rose de may is obviously a very kind of soft, quiet, powdery, sensual rose, it's very pretty. And then vetiver is obviously quite dry and grassy. And I'm just gonna give this one a spritz. So this one is quite saffrony, it's quite rosy, it's quite smoky and earthy. Sexy glam, but also hip. Like it's, that's a noisy car. So, <laughs> don't you just love a moped rider? Anyway, this one, 
is quite saffrony. It's got a hint of spice at the beginning. It's got a lot of like soft, hugsy kind of rose. It's got, um, yeah, it's got like a warm, fresh floral note. And it's just, yeah, it's kind of like a sexy rose, again, quite a nighttime glam fragrance. But again, it's got quite a modern, hip, very contemporary kind of feel. Again, it's quite Tom Fordy. It reminds me a little bit more of, I can't even think, maybe like Cafe Rose, is it by Tom Ford? It definitely has like Tom Ford vibes. It also kind of has a bit of a, I don't know, what does it remind me of? Reminds me a little bit of Atelier Cologne's Cafe Tuba Rosa as well. But it's very beautiful. If you like a rose-based fra fragrance and you like something with a little bit of like saffron and woods and a bit more like glam and almost a cherry note, this is great. I really like it. I think it's beautiful. And I think it's, um, yeah, just smoky and sexy and rich. But again, it's not too loud, which I really like about it because sometimes fragrances like that can be really beautiful and really intense but it can just be a little bit more intense than you want and this just has kind of like a slight translucency to it which is really nice it's not too overpowering so if you are quite sensitive to smells but you like something quite rich and heavy this could be a great option for you or if you're just like me and you just like the fragrances yeah that too like they're definitely not soft but they are much softer than other brands like they're much softer than roger they're much softer than amor oud tom ford I'm trying to think what else just they're much softer which i really like they feel a lot more hard hitting but translucent does that make sense i hope so anyway the final one i want to show you is um french gray which is a mix of neroli musk and lavender now this one is probably their most iconic scent. I'm gonna show you the bottle. It's again, exactly the same, but more of a gray tone to the glass. Um, I'm gonna spray this one here. Now this one I think is my favorite, and I think it's probably the best fragrance that they've ever created. This one contains notes of honey, neroli, lavender, and musk, and it's a fresh floral Paris-inspired fragrance. It's understated, chic, light, nostalgic, classic, and hip. It feels very modern, but it also feels very sensual. It's very classic, and it's just really, I don't know, it's kind of fresh, but it's kind of antique -y, and it's kind of quite nostalgic, but it feels very contemporary. It's just a really lovely mix. It's very cool girl, it's very effortless, Parisian hipster. Do you know what I mean? It's quite leather jackets cool girl you know quite nice. it's very austin twin it's very it's very them walking through the airport looking hip as hell and um just being cool and owning the place but in a really in a really kind of like effortless way and that's why it's so good and um yeah i think i've butchered i've butchered describing all three of those fragrances but I really like them. Like I said, I think it's a great brand. It's Elizabeth and James. Elizabeth is obviously after Elizabeth Olsen. James is their brother, apparently. I don't know. But I think it's a really lovely brand. I think they've done an amazing job. Like I say, it's not celebi at all. It's just a really lovely perfumery that I think they've done a great job on. I think they're also really affordable. Um, I can't remember how much they are. <laughs> That's so bad. I can't remember how much they are, but I will put the links below in case you want to check them out and I'll try and find the prices and put them below too. These are smallish bottles, they are 30 mil, but I think they're really great. I just really like the brand. I think I think it's a lovely, lovely, lovely brand. And like I say, if you like a kind of a heavier, richer, smokier, darker, kind of modern, vintage kind of fragrance, if you like something like Tom Ford, or Amel Oud or Roger, or something like that, which is quite dark and quite heavy, but you want it a little bit more toned down, a little bit more subtle, a little bit more effortless cool girl, then I think this is a really great brand. I'm a real fan. <laughs> anyway, that's my video. I hope it's of help. 
Um, let me know if you have any thoughts on the brand. I would love to hear what you think. And if you've got any other fragrances from the brand that you would like to suggest to me, please do. I know that they do one which is patchouli based. I think it's in a white bottle. I remember that being very good too, but these are the three with it which really stick out to me personally. Anyway, that's my video. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully I'll see you again soon. Sorry, I'm very sweaty today. It is roasting hot. Anyway, I'll see you again soon. Thank you so much. Bye.